This episode is sponsored by Zenro Clothing Co. Pick up your tees and our accessories at zenroclothingco.com and be sure to use offer code SOCRATES at checkout for 20% off select items. Also, if you're not into uh, spending the money, just check out the Zenro Radio playlist. ZenRealClothingCo.com, music for your everyday. This episode also is sponsored by The Pornia Bakery. If you're located in the Pornia area of Scarborough, Toronto, be sure to check out The Pornia Bakery, say what's up to Arvel, and uh, pick up a donut or two. Bake daily, crafted with love. This episode also is sponsored by Podbean. Podbean is the podcasting platform of choice. It's the one that me and Vish use, and um, is great, you know, if you're uh, looking to start that DIY podcast yourself definitely check out podbean use uh the link podbean.com slash socratic gamers and gain one month of unlimited podcasting for free test it out build that content uh anyone could podcast right vish yep start a start a podcast and uh get your ideas out there all right enjoy the episode all right uh let's we got a big big list of topics for you today uh, but let's start off with the UFC fight last night, aka the real Mortal Kombat, because uh, that has some fatalities in it. And uh, oh my god, yes, that was that, that was some real fatalities. Yeah, <laughs> that was a real fatality. So like, um, oh jeez, I'm just so, thinking about it. I know, right? Like, uh, so every there were five fights on the main card, and I was stoked for all of them. And uh, surprisingly, I got five out of five. My guesses were all correct, but I didn't expect them all to end in finishes like there was no decision that night last night so that was pretty crazy wow. um the first fight was a leg kick that debilitated the other guy he like he got it on the very outside so like if you like feel the back of your uh, mm-hmm. kneecap there's yeah. like one protruding tendon there and he kicked that one and that like short-circuited his entire leg his opponent oh okay. so when they replayed it like that's where the kick landed and like the guy just couldn't walk after his opponent right like he he could walk but the one then he, he kept kicked. falling over right so like they're like okay we're gonna call it off oh, now because you can't fight with one leg um and then the next one which is the craziest fatality is the dude's first kick of the match he threw a low kick and the guy checked it and when he checked it his not not the one who checked it but the one who threw the kick his Sh- leg snapped in half. shin right his yeah, shin snapped in half dude that is the like so, it's like um silly putty or what do you call that like it just leg was just <laughs> yeah it, it was yeah it was it was like yeah it became like ah, not silly i know what you mean uh, ah, like, it's like rubber yeah 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 it, that was and the creepiest part was it wasn't that it broke was that he tried to put his weight on it oh after because he didn't know it was broken right he's yeah. like oh that's oh, painful and then when hurts. he put it down you saw it fold in half and he fell to the floor screaming in agony oh my god yeah that was oh yeah that was so intense we were screaming it was like what is going like that yeah yeah, yeah. i'm i'm holding my leg as i did as i'm watching but you, as you, you talk about it but you know it's funny so i'm not funny it was like kind of ironic so he did that to anderson silva mm-hmm. M- remember like we were talking about this a long time ago and you were like oh i don't like leg kicks i was like i don't like leg kicks either and then i was, show- I was telling you like yeah somebody's leg snapped in half and then we show i show you the video and you're like oh my god that's so gnarly but then we watched it in real life too like that was that was a playback we didn't watch that one live yeah, yeah, i just yeah, knew yeah, that yeah. happened yeah, yeah, so i went back to it but this one was like it was the same dude too like that right, it, right which right. is crazy like it was like god was like like this is gonna be funny <laughs> but although it's not funny because well it's, it's ironic like you could see the hit the, right yeah of course irony yeah. In it. yeah but like yeah that was just horrendous and what was crazy is when they were filming him i don't know if you caught that part when they were filming him leaving on a stretcher mm-hmm. and he had his hand up he was crying like i was looking at his face mm. like he was like like well yeah it was probably agony. a lot of pain yeah oh of course. my god yeah and and then your thought is like i'm never gonna walk again because like i was listening to a different podcast and when it happened to anderson silva they said if this was 50 years ago they'd have to amputate the leg you can't put that kind of oh, break wow. back together wow because it's it's a it's a full shot yeah 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 so like, you would have lost your leg i mean like anderson silva did come back how like, long did it take to come back? Like two years, and like that. Yeah, it's yeah. it's a long time for that kind of recovery. And yeah, yeah, totally. And I'm not sure. Like when he came back, he was never the same again. He wasn't throwing like with the same. You can't. You can't I, 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 fear yeah. that's gonna break again. You know, like I don't know how that heals. Is do they put something like a plate or something, or like how do they like? 
I have no idea. Yeah, I don't know. <laughs> like, like, do you have to do two, put two plates and then, like, hold it together? It's not a fracture. It's a full-on break, right? Yeah, so. dude. Oh, my God. What was crazy is, like, if you watch the slow-mo, when he kicked it, it's almost like the the skin ripped too, because I saw like a red it part. Be- yeah, yeah, yeah. It, yeah. It, it's almost like the bone ripped through as it broke. Oh my god! My god. Yeah, that's that's too gnarly. It's so <laughs> funny. I woke up this morning and like, cause we posted. I posted it last night, mm. and Wal was like, "Why'd you have to post this?" <laughs> <laughs> Everyone was freaking out about. It. I was like, "Dude, this is the craziest thing ever happened." Like, I'm not the craziest. Well, you could have, but as they as they were doing it, um. Uh, when they did the re- as it took a long time to to, to show the replay. Probably because they were like, "What can we show?" Yeah, but then they yeah. also added the disclaimer like, um, "Oh yeah, your yeah, discretion totally. yeah, advised." Yeah, for sure, for sure. Yeah, I didn't do that. Yeah, I should have yeah. done that. <laughs> but but the um, the the crazy part is they were saying like in all of their fights, this has only happened three times. Oh wow! So like, okay, that's not bad. It's a still, low number, right? It's it made me think of like the AstraZeneca shot. It's like, <laughs> okay, I like those odds, you know, and like kind of like, yeah, 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 yeah. Oh, yeah, I'll do it. Although I'm not going for that one, but anyways, you go. This different topic. Uh, so then, so then the next fight was Valentina. She like so she's a striker, and um, mm. and then this person is a wrestler like she's a jujitsu specialist slash wrestler and then valentina's like nobody can beat me in this game so she went in there with a statement so like she didn't stand with her she wrestled her so she she beat her at her own game oh, and it's okay. like wow that's, that's pretty impressive because this person is like straight muay thai we've never seen her grapple before right and the entire fight she like basically didn't didn't stand she's like okay you want to grapple and then she bodied her mm. So that happened. And then the next one, Rose Nami Yunus, um, which is pretty crazy. So she won it really quickly, this girl. Uh, Thug Rose, the one with the shaved head. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So she won it really quickly because she was really good. But then she started taking it for granted. She's like, I don't really want to be here. And then when she lost her title, she got slammed on her head. Mm-hmm. Um, I think by the person that... No, I can't. No, it wasn't her. Never mind. mind. Um, But yeah, so she got slammed on her head. And then she was saying like how when she lost it, a whole weight got lifted off her because now she's like free. Because when you're the champ, right, you have to like, like. It's the pressure of continuously winning, right? And she's like, was it even like, am I even worthy? It was too easy to get here. Mm -hmm. Right. Mm -hmm. And then so she came back and then she kept repeating this like mantra to herself. The reason why I'm like so fascinated by this person is she reminds me of Joan of Arc. So like even the the <laughs> podcast I listened to of Joan of Arc uh, with um, Daniele Bellelli, he mentioned that like if like in his mind's eye when he thinks of Joan of Arc, he thinks of Rose okay. because like at the weigh-ins she's like praying the Lord's prayer and you know when they're like doing the stare down, so she's like repeating the Lord's prayer okay like out loud because yeah, right, like, right, she right. she has like she has to like get over it mentally or whatever mm-hmm. she's very stoic mm-hmm. you know when mm-hmm. she's like fighting. Um, yeah, she even shaved off all her hair because she's like, it's getting in the way. Like when she first started, they're like, oh, you're you're like a model. And she had like long hair and like she's like pretty. And then she's like, she shaved her head and they were like, why would you shave your head? Like that's your, your like right. your money maker, right? Because yeah. you're like, a spon- you could be sponsored, right? And she's like, it was getting in the way of me being able to fight. Mm-hmm. So I was like, whoa, you take this seriously. You know what I mean? And like uh, mm-hmm. even in this one, when she was like going, she was fighting again for the title. Right. She kept like I couldn't see what she was saying. She was like shouting something, mm-hmm. and then at the end when she won, they're saying like she was shouting "I am the best" because she was like using like like I don't know, it was like CBT on herself, like cognitive behavioral th- uh, like training or something. Like, yeah, okay. Like she's like she was like repeating the mantra to like keep herself hype herself up kind of thing. yeah yeah or like don't forget don't forget you know yeah, yeah, yeah. and then she was like crying and then her her husband slash trainer was like they have a really cool relationship but he's like who's the best and then she's like i am who's the best <laughs> i am i was like that's kind of cool you know so good to see her win uh and then the final one masvidal versus um usman you saw that punch that was like took his soul bro that was like <laughs> That was the craziest spot. Like, okay, so everyone was saying so. Masvidal never been, uh, never been in a bad spot when he was fighting. Oh yeah, he's been fighting in backyard fighting since he was like super young. Mm-hmm. Right, that's how he made his way up. Right, and he was talking all this like smack. I really like him though. He's like he's like his nickname is Gamebred because it's like you were born for this, right? Mm-hmm. So you're like a born fighter. And this other guy was like, "You're not in my league," so. 
it would it was interesting to see like this guy that's never been put in a bad position go up against like the best in the world and it and the guy that's the best in the world made it look like the game bread guy had no business being in there mm-hmm. yeah yeah what do you think of the knockout no it was good it was like an anime style like the way yeah he like put his arm down yeah struck and all the sweat like flew off his face yeah 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 but, yeah, yeah. That's what I mean. It was, that was like an anime style thing. It's like he got knocked out, <laughs> like yeah. an actual clear knockout kind of thing. Yeah. Yeah. The, it was interesting because like when he threw that punch, when I watched it in slow motion, he threw like a hook and like the hook wasn't really like a hook. It was meant to like distract him. So he was looking at the hook. And then when he laid in with that punch, it yeah. was like his entire body. It, it was like an anime scene, you know, like Baki Hanma. Mm hmm. Uh, like, when, so. like the the it was like an underground fighter. If if you want to check that out, you listen to it. But like he, there's a scene where they're like explaining how to do like the ultimate punch, where if you can punch using your entire body weight, you can like you're undefeatable. Right, yeah, that's what it felt like. And that dude, when he hit him and he fell, it was like, oh, you took his soul, bro. You <laughs> killed him. You know, there was no coming back from right, that. Right, right, right. That that was like the first time I'd ever seen that kind of punch a clear punch yeah a clear, a clear punch like yeah full torque but in that i was thinking too like what was crazy is that punch when it landed and all the sweat flew off him like looking back at it, it was like what if he died <laughs> what if like it was a freak accident and you hit him so hard that he died like his like his head went like whipped around so fast and it like snapped his neck that would be like game over for UFC. I don't even know what they, they you had one card, the dude's shin snapped right in half, and then yeah. the other main card, somebody literally died. I don't know. Well, yeah, that has not happened in even boxing, right? So oh, they've died after the fact. Like, um, like people have died in boxing after the fight because they were dehydrated, so there's no fluid in their. I got you. Yeah, uh, in their brain, mm-hmm. so their brain is getting rattled around. They just died. Oh wow. Yeah. I don't think in the fight that's ever happened, but like after when they're going to the hospital and stuff, gotcha. like yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Could you imagine though, like, like what that? Well, in, in I guess in boxing they have much more padding, so they throw take, more. Take more hits, yeah, yeah, yeah totally. Yeah, yeah. 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 Whereas this here, one, you're gonna like, shut out your lights quicker. Yeah, and then you don't have as much padding, so the kind of punch you're throwing isn't always. Yeah, totally. Right, it's a bit different. It's a, you. You could take more damage, which leads to more headshots. Yeah, and like headshots, more rattling of the brain. Yeah. Although I guess one can make the argument that because there's less padding, maybe the force is harder, but you can't take as many shots. I don't know. I don't know. There's there's a limit. I don't know. It's like kind of balances out somehow. I think. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> That's yeah. That that would have been so nar- Like I don't even know what the recovery process would be like after that kind of shot. He seemed fine at the end. Like he woke up and he was like, "Oh, congrats, whatever." But like your neck is gonna be like whiplash. You know what I mean? There's something there, of course. Yeah, the next day, like that was a full body shot. Yeah, it reminds me of that quote again. I said it with the Chris Weidman thing, but like, um, you don't play UFC. Mm-hmm. Like there is no gay. Like you can really get hurt in this thing. Yeah, of course. And that's, but what was crazy too is like that was the first time an, uh, the audience was back. Where did they do this? Florida. Okay. Yeah, so it was like it was the first time they had an audience in the stands again after COVID. Mm. And it was five crazy fights. I don't know if like the fans influenced it, made everything more hype, but like, <laughs> like that was the craziest UFC in a long time. Right, right. Yeah. Okay, cool. Yeah. So, um, speaking of Mortal Kombat, that came out this week. Yeah. And uh, what'd you think, Vish? I I I couldn't finish <laughs> it, so we're gonna rely on you for this one because I had to like walk away from it because it was so terrible. Well, it's like a pre. So the name Mortal Kombat. It's not Mortal Kombat is the tournament, right? Yeah. But there was no tournament in here. It was just like a, it's like a prequel to the Mortal Kombat in a way. Okay. Uh, a whole new character is who we're following here. Okay. Um, I don't think he's in any of the games or anything like that. So, uh, Spoiler alert: the uh, descendant of Scorpion. Yeah, yeah. He does show. Okay, yeah, it's all spoilery. So, he does show up at the end. Oh, really? Yeah. Oh, that's cool. Just to fight. Um, Sub Zero. Yeah. Okay. 
And then he goes back to hell, I guess. Oh, okay. <laughs> so he just like shows up, fights him. Yeah, because he couldn't really, the the descendant guy could not um, beat Sub Zero. Yeah. Okay. He needed help, so his ancestor came in here. Cool. All right. Um, but it was a bit too. Like, because uh, then we we rewatched the original. Yeah, right after I was like, yeah, oh, we we gotta watch. And the then original. it's like the the rules in that were like pretty followed in the sense that you're not supposed to fight anyone until the actual tournament. Right. Yeah. yeah. But none of that was followed here in this movie, in the new movie. And and also in this new movie, they had like the um, what do you call it the the birthmark. Yeah, yeah, yeah. that was kind of weird. Yeah, I guess that was not mentioned in any of them. I guess I don't know. No, no, that's a new thing. Mm-hmm. Yeah, uh, it, I think it felt a bit more like the recent types of games in the way that like, like the stories are told. Mm-hmm. But um, I, I think it felt like again like a YouTube style. YouTube. Oh, the YouTube one, the the legacy one, like how it was. Oh yeah, yeah. yeah. It had that kind of vibe to it because it was like. But that legacy one was pretty good. I remember right, watching right. those. Right, right. But YouTube I mean, like. Right. Uh, I mean, the CG, they had it there, but it was just kind of like, the story wasn't that good. I'll just say that. For this one. For this yeah, one. Yeah, For the okay. new one, the story's not that good. And then at the end of it, it's like, they're building um, more fighters. So he was like, the main guy was going to go to Hollywood. Oh. And, then, and then it pans to like the poster showing Johnny Cage. Oh. Okay. So they're building a team. Okay, that that explains why it's a four movie contract, right? Okay, because they were, um, yeah, I guess they they intend to make this. Four so movies. It, yeah, and it, and it basically comes down to two things, right? Because the the difference in here was that I think the the original Mortal Kombat is like PG thirteen. Okay, well, this one is rated R, so they really wanted to do the fatalities, the, the fatalities, yeah. and the gore. So it was like. It came down to either lore versus gore or gore versus mm. lore. That was what the main focus ended up being. And and you liked it? You? Like, uh, would you, would you I mean, I liked the, the gore. It was it was interesting, but the story was lacking. See that that is, I agree with you on that one because like that's why I had to stop watching it because like <laughs> the the opening the seven minutes that they released, I was like that was the greatest part of the entire movie because I was like holy crap this is really cool like the fighting, the. Uh, the special effects yeah, yeah, yeah it was it was amazing mm-hmm. but then like when it actually got into the real story story i was like man this is this is dragging like, no yeah, sense. yeah the fighting was good corny i guess the fighting was good no yeah the fighting yeah, right the gore versus lore thing yeah, yeah the fighting was good and all but yeah the story wasn't really there i mean compared to the the old one the fighting was not really there because of all the camera shakes totally yeah but the story was there <laughs> If if they took the original one and they just upgraded it with like better fight scenes and um, graphics, that would be amazing. Yeah. I think one thing is, uh, uh, there was nobody that I really liked as a character. Yeah, true, true, true. Yep, yep. Right, like Liu Kang, I didn't like him. He was kind of like a uptight, goody, goody. Yeah, and I didn't like that. I didn't like. Quan- uh, the guy with the hat. I don't remember his uh, name. Kung Lao? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I didn't even make it. I didn't like part. any of them, actually. Really? Yeah. Oh, as okay. a character. Like, Cole, like, who's Cole? Like, <laughs> like there was nobody. Scorpion. No, no, no. I know, but he he didn't do anything Scorpion y. Yeah, yeah, true. You he know just what I mean? The like, opening scene with the fighting. Yeah, yeah, totally, totally. Yeah. But, like, there was nobody that I really liked as a character compared to the original. Yeah, I, I felt like the original, it's like you each character held their own and you could gravitate towards one of the characters. Mm-hmm. Like you could either like, um, Liu Kang with his like, um, renegade attitude, right. You know, bad boy. Yeah, subtly. Yeah, 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 yeah. And then you have like Johnny Cage, who's like slick and funny mm-hmm. or like the woman empowered Sonya. Right. You know? So, I, but I think this was much more like the video game in the sense, like they had powers, like they were, yeah, like, they had no powers in the first yeah, one. Yeah. So they had like, Actual, like like actual like superpower kind of thing, so right. it's like that's a bit different. But in the, uh, I think that's a new thing because when the first movie came out, the games weren't super power heavy. No, yeah, yeah, yeah. like the only people that really had powers were um, the people that they showed, which is Scorpion, Sub Zero, mm-hmm. and Reptile. Mm-hmm. And yeah, everyone else had like like actual fighting ability. Right. 
Yeah, because they were basing it off like MK1, MK2. Yeah. But now we're in Mortal Kombat like 11. 11. Yeah. And they're like, they're conjuring up like tornadoes. <laughs> you know? Like, or, or like, like uh, beams. Like yeah. some ring beams. That's, that's, what, that's what happened to Sonya Blade. Like when she killed Kano, she got the mark. Oh, she killed Kano. No yeah. spoiler. Yeah. Okay, that's cool. But like, uh, Kano. I think Kano, well, you know what? I kind of agree with that, which is like Kano is the only character that was the one Good. that was still the same Kano from. Oh, from like the first one? Yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah. I, but I didn't like him. Like there's something about him during yeah, that. Yeah, but he was, like, oh, he was already, lame, he was supposed to be evil, right? The way that the other characters treated him, like when they fought him, but then they gave him back the knife. It didn't make sense. But totally. Yeah, exactly. Exactly. It's like, yo. Know, why it's like they didn't take him seriously yeah when if Sonya they took him seriously the knife, yeah. then yeah you wouldn't you would treat him like it would make sense for kano to be like that why were you treating him like he's going to be a good guy yeah, yeah that totally. was a problem yeah. see i like the first one because it was clear who the good guys and bad guys were yeah, yeah, yeah you know in this one it was like it was so confusing like the relationships you know? yeah i got the point of what why kano was there for the story wise because he was supposed to break like when they are training in Raiden's temple, um, mm-hmm. he put up the shield so nobody, none of the um, outer world people can come in and fight them. But again, they weren't supposed to. They're not supposed come, to, yeah, first of all, right? Fight, but yeah. the, but then they used uh, Cabal. I guess they know each other. Kano and Cabal know each other, so he, Cabal convinced Kano to well, come fight for us. That's so lame. And then so then he like broke something to like to remove the shield hmm. so then they fought them there's there's too, just, many, <laughs> there's too many dramatized backstories in the game and in this movie yeah like in the first one you didn't really know too much about the characters so it was just all about the tournament yeah you know like uh, but also in the games like mortal kombat 1 and 2 and then the movie mm-hmm. like it was it was strictly about the tournament and right. how like the premise is if you lose this one our world is going to come take over mm-hmm. but like as you progress through the series like mortal kombat 4 5 6 i remember when they um introduced people like quan chi remember yeah. the guy like the bald headed white guy mm-hmm. the sorcerer mm-hmm. oh yeah, yeah yeah yeah. and then uh shinnok like they started including characters and like backstories and relationships mm-hmm. and it was just like it it moved away from the tournament and more about like the yeah, battle, random yeah. battles. But I think that's it had to evolve in that way. I don't think it would have survived in a sense. True, yeah, but I think that's probably why the movie was so meh, you know? All right. Uh, it seems like an audience kind of liked it, I guess, So with those numbers that I saw. But I wonder if the audience is just getting dumber. No offense to the audience, but like... No, I think I think what happened was the producers probably just, let's focus on gore. Yeah, no, that's what I mean. It's like, and I think it's, that's what people wanted. I think so too. It's like, it felt very Fortnite-y to me, you know, like very like, like superficial wow. No yeah, substance. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. You know? yeah, they had superpowers, so that's kind of... So hard. random. <laughs> so random. Yeah. I, I, what would you say uh, to watch this one or like, who, what do you like better? First what do or? I like better? Uh, um, well, if you're looking for the gore, it's in this one. But their costumes are so lame. They didn't look like actual martial artists. No, no, no yeah, yeah. But if you're looking for the gore, no, totally, yeah, right. yeah. Right. They, they, that's my gripe with it. Like their costumes look like Power Rangers or something, <laughs> and like their their bodies. It was too much. Yeah, it, it was too much brightness. It should have been a bit more. Like darker, in the first one, like toned but, down. Yeah, the colors. Remember here. the first one? It was dark and it was scary. Yeah, yeah, like, yeah. Shang yeah, Tsung yeah. was like freaky. Cause like he would just appear out of nowhere. Cause you don't know who Shang Tsung was. Cause he can take take form. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So and like, his cool. face, like he had that look of a, a villain. Yeah, yeah, totally. Right. And and like and with their bodies, uh, I found that like it didn't look like they were martial artists. Like if you look at the first one, Liu Kang looks like he practices martial arts. Yeah. Well, you it know? looked like it did for Liu Kang for this one too. But, but like or other characters too like so um but he had like that superpower already fire. yeah so it was like yeah it was so weird <laughs> it's like you're relying more on your superpower than your martial arts ability so like, yeah there were there were some dumb lines in there <laughs> i can imagine i mean there were corny lines in the first one but they made me laugh like they were right the the comedic timing or maybe that was just because we grew up in that era that kind of but stuff it was it was kind of weird because it's like okay so like in the end it's like um 
Sub Zero does capture Cole's family, and they were like frozen. Oh, okay. Did they, they die or no? They didn't die. Lame. He's with fire of scorpion that kind of like bring them back, right? Okay. Warmed up the area. Anyway, so and then um, like they've already defeated Sub Zero. Then when they're uh, when everybody else shows up in that in that room where they're at. Um, he's like, oh, just come close. It'll keep you warm. Uh, Liu Kang was telling to his... Um, wow, that's, yeah, that's his Because <laughs> he had the hand of fire. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's it's like, okay, sure. <laughs> that's, that's corny, bro. Yeah. I, I liked in the first one when uh, Shang Tsung was like, Scorpion and Sub-Zero, the deadliest of enemies, but mm-hmm. slaves under my control. Right. So that was cool. Because mm-hmm. it's like, you show it showed like the might of Shang Tsung. Right. Yeah, 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 but I felt like Shang Tsung in this movie was like didn't even look like a martial artist. Yeah, he looked like, I guess, a sorcerer. Like, oh no, no, think about this. Okay, Shang Tsung in the first one, Shang Tsung in this one. Yeah, and this one looked two too different soft. Shang Tsung. Yeah, yeah, right? yeah, yeah. And Raiden. In well, the he first was one. using, I guess, the, the the this Shang Tsung is just using like superpowers, right? Magic. He's not an yeah, actual yeah, yeah, martial yeah. artist. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then Raiden, the first one, Raiden in this one. Mm-hmm. Raiden looked beast in the first one. You know how he's like a little monk, you know, like a, like a beggar member in the yeah, opening yeah, scene? Yeah, 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 yeah. Right. Like, you know, but he, he seemed ominous. Like mm-hmm. the way he was portrayed, it was mm-hmm. like, ooh, you have power. Yeah. Yeah, he he's not the same Raiden. Like when they first met Raiden, Raiden's like, okay, none of you guys know fighting. Oh, okay. So he's like kind of a dick. Yeah. Oh, all right, great. Right. So wait, wait. None of you guys know fighting, but you're the chosen ones. Yeah. So this is the, what we're working with, kind of like that. Oh my. And it's like, okay, you have, you have to train to get your like. I forgot what they called it, but it's kind of like the inner chi. That's where you're to bring out your power. Wow, that's lame. <laughs> that's that's pretty lame. So like in the first one, it's cool because it was like they, these are the best warriors that Earth had to offer. Yeah. Yeah. Which is like which, which is makes the yeah. origin of Mortal Kombat. It's like Earth's mightiest warriors yeah. versus Outworld's mightiest right, warriors. Right. And this one, it's like, oh, this is what we're working with? Okay. Because they were the yeah, chosen well, ones, right? yeah. So it's like, ah. It's a prequel to the Mortal Kombat. We'll see. I don't know. They call it Mortal Kombat, though. So. Yeah, I don't know. It, it, it was sad to me. It was <laughs> sad. I had high hopes, but it was sad. Right. I felt like that from the trailers, though. But That it was going to be, like, crappy? Yeah, it was just going to be, like... I just don't think they can do... It's not. It can't be done, like, the way the original ones are done anymore. True. It just won't I, work for today's time. I don't know if like older movies had to focus more on story because the graphics weren't there, but yeah, now, yeah, yeah. now like the graphics are there, so we don't need to focus on story. It's where you want to spend the money, right? Like, it's almost like in the future we're gonna see. Well, hopefully in the future you're gonna see a merger between really good story and really good um, CG. Well, mm-hmm. which is like Falcon and the Winter Soldier. Right. Well, it's been so long from the original Mortal Kombat. Or even yeah. like more combat and, annihilation, and they, or like even legacy, the YouTube one. Yeah, like they've been teasing that out for yeah. so long. So I, I don't know. We'll see. Maybe they'll learn from the mistakes in the first to fix the next one. Um, hopefully, I'm my. Hopes uh, well, unless are high. I mean, unless the audience liked it, then maybe not. <laughs> yeah, yeah, they shouldn't keep it. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. All right. Speaking of uh, amazing, anything else about? Uh. No, I think that was it. Yeah. <laughs> so, uh, watch or don't watch. What are you gonna What are you gonna claim it? Uh, I think you should watch it. All right, I couldn't finish it, so my verdict is don't watch. Sort of fifty fifty here. Okay, so uh, speaking of really good stories and CG, Falcon the Winter Soldier. Mm-hmm. What do you think? That was a good ending. Yeah, I don't know why people give it a five. That's so weird to me. Like, I really like the series. Like, it was pushing some really... I mean, yeah, it, it was this, it was the same tone and the same message throughout yeah. all so the episodes. Like, so what and there was a about? conclusion to that message. Yeah. So why were people so cheesed? I, <laughs> I don't know. I didn't, I didn't read people's reviews on why they... Gave it a five? Yeah. Um, it did feel fast in the sense, but it came to a conclusion, that storyline. Yeah, so, a, a lot of people said, like... Well, I was reading a little bit of it, and it was like... It just felt, or they just tied everything up. But I'm like, what else do you want them to do? Like, <laughs> no, it had to go this way. Like, yeah. what, what, like, what, where else would it have gone? Would you want in like 10 more episodes or something? Like, you know, 
Maybe that is what they wanted. Though. Maybe, yeah, maybe, yeah. It was shorter than Wandavision. You mean series wise, like episodes? The, the number of episodes. Yeah. Oh, whatever. But they they just told. But what I don't they see that as tell. a problem. I think that why add fillers when exactly exactly that'll why just make fillers? it worse. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, totally. Now you can just watch all of them and you're like, oh, this is really great. Mm-hmm. Yeah, quality over quantity. Yeah. yeah. And I, oh, so, okay, so I was wrong with all of my guesses. I thought... Um, well, did you guess them or did were you following someone no, else? No, I was guessing. Okay. okay. I, I was guessing. I thought... Um, I thought Carly. Carly. Carly, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I thought she was going to be uh, the next Captain America. She dies. Well, supposedly dies. She might not die. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, it turned out that the Falcon was Captain America... Which is good though. Like that actually does happen in the comics. So, well, they were making you question that um, throughout the series, right? Because especially when you met the the first black, um, yeah, yeah, uh, yeah, super soldier, uh, that like America's never going to take it, us. But, but that's what I liked, right? Yeah. Like he's like, and then what? It, what was that line you liked? Where he's like, they well, we, we blooded and made this country. Totally. Also, yeah, yeah. So, yeah, that's why we. It's worth to fight for it. Kind of totally. Thing. Yeah. Which yeah. I like that message a lot. That's funny what you, what people gravitate towards. I gravitate towards when he said, um, "Stop calling them terrorists," <laughs> because uh, what what would they call us? Yeah, and I was like, "Yeah, that's true." Like it's just like the like history is told by the side of the winner. Mm-hmm. So like we're calling them terrorists because they're standing the way of what we want. Mm-hmm. But flip side, we're terrorists to them because we're standing the way of what they want. Mm-hmm. You know, I thought that was cool. I love that they put that in the movie. In the show, yeah, yeah, um, yeah. And in the things that I was watching, they were saying that Bucky might have been maybe Captain America in the future. Like in in the comics, it goes both ways. So like, okay. Bucky becomes Captain America at one point, and so does Falcon. Yeah, you got to really read this. There's so much to the series, right? Like, yeah, totally. They could have reasoning for different things, but like, I think it makes sense for. Has to be a black person. Yeah, yeah totally. Yeah, yeah. To and I was watching uh, something else, some interviews about it, and like he's like, yeah, it needs to push. Like Anthony Mackie was saying, it needs to push boundaries. Like mm-hmm. you need to be like, like it by making him Captain America black, it sets a lot of tones and a lot of questions. Because mm-hmm. then, like he's like, little Asian kids will look up and be like, oh, maybe I could be something else. Mm-hmm. Or like, and yeah. then black kids will look up and be like, oh, I could be something great. You know. Yeah, it, it really does have an impact on, like, visually who is representative, right? Like, yeah, as we talking about representation, yeah. Yeah, yeah. and it, it does have a huge impact. And and um, he was saying also that uh, him, oh, I lost my train of thought there, uh, him being Captain America, I lost my train of thought. No. Oh. It'll, it'll come back. Okay. But anyways, so, yeah, I I like that they they put him as Captain America because it'll, it'll make us all rethink. Oh, I remember now. Uh, so he was saying that he's not a blonde haired, blue eyed. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. And I was like, yeah, that's, that's great. Like not making Captain America, blonde haired, blue eyed. Right. Yeah. Cause that is a standard American, like mm-hmm. Aryan race. That is the Aryan race actually. Yeah. Like Hitler's Aryan race. Yeah. 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 <laughs> yeah that's good. Send such a great message. I liked it. Yeah. Oh, that, and, oh. That, like I thought they were, that um, the stand-in Cap America, the one that was from the beginning. He I like thought he was going to be a bad guy, but like, no, he, I think he's still going to be a bad guy. Probably, but it's like at least not yet. <laughs> it was like he kind of helped. True, yeah, yeah, like, yeah. There was some change in him. But. What was his name? The American U.S. agent. U.S. agent. Yeah, yeah. yeah that's okay, the, so. So Wob said he was in Marvel vs. Capcom. I think only the skin was there because I remember the dark. The dark uniform, okay. The black uniform for um, you could unlock it, dude. Marvel vs. Capcom was an amazing game. I wonder if you could buy that in the PlayStation Store. I think so. Yeah, all right, I, that's something worth buying. Okay. I don't know if you've ever played it, but like I, I've played it, of course. Oh man, I we were obsessed like in high school because they had that arcade machine at the pizza shop. Yeah, okay. And we would always like skip class <laughs> to go play that arcade game. <laughs> so it just brings back like nostalgic memories for me. But anyways, huh. that's a side note. Uh, so another thing that I was wrong about was uh, Sharon being the yeah. I thought it was gonna be um, the the girl from Seinfeld. Who's gonna be? Oh, who's um right? The um, collector or whatever. The uh, 
power broker. Yeah, power broker. Yeah. You called it. And I was like, ah, I felt like they were kind of suggesting, but like, no, they're going to bait and switch you. No, they didn't. They were just like. They didn't really show too much, but it's just like how much she ha- like, how come she has so much power over there? Like from. Yeah. And you so were that, right. You were saying that, yeah, yeah. you know, you were like suggesting like mm-hmm. it makes more sense to make her the power broker. Yeah. Like, I don't know. She does have a lot of power in Madripoor. Yeah. Yeah. So it makes sense. Yeah. Um, <laughs> I, I liked, I liked that they were like, they, they were giving her enough of a backstory for you to understand why she would do these things. Yeah. It was, it's, it's like Thanos, you know, you're like, she's like fighting for, cause she was with Captain America yeah. Yeah, yeah, and yeah. she's like fighting for the forgotten, the blips, mm-hmm, right. Mm-hmm, or whatever. Mm-hmm. Like, why do we get exiled? All that stuff. And it's like, she just has a vendetta against the U.S. government. Mm-hmm. And it's like, I totally see that. Your yeah. point makes total sense. It's right. not like you're like right. evil. You you got Captain America's shield back. Right. You only became the, um, what was it? The coll- Not collector. I keep. Power broker. You only became the power broker afterwards. Yeah. To get revenge. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Like, if you think about it, like, your grandma was even. To, um, Captain America is like the love of her life. Yeah, right? yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. Like you were set up to be good, but you chose this path because you believe it to be the higher path, even mm-hmm. though it's considered evil. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Right. Which goes back to what Falcon said about terrorists. <laughs> you know, so it's like, which side are you on? Yeah, it was, it was really cool. And she was playing chess, bro, because when she got into... Remember, she's like, I just want to be pardoned. <laughs> yeah. And then at the end of that, when she was pardoned, she's like, okay, we have complete access now into yeah, the yeah, U.S. Yeah. intelligence. That was sick. Yeah. Anything else you thought? Um, no, it was a good... Like, Yeah, it was good just seeing it all like kind of wrap up for the season. Mm-hmm. And then what's next right let's see true true i what what do you what do you rate the the show the overall show yeah it's like yeah. pretty pretty high up there it's a good watch yeah right totally yeah. i agree I, it actually made it to my top five on okay. a series like, it was just so good it was like it had so many messages and so many truths in it and the action was sick yeah, yeah. I, I i'm i'm waiting i'm hoping they also release like the behind the scenes so I do want to watch that on this one. Oh, to see how it was made. So, yeah. Yeah, 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 like to see if it was actually yeah. the uh, like. Uh, yeah, they did it for like Mandalorian, like a whole series, but they did only one episode for One Division. Uh, so I'm hoping to do that one for this too. Cool. Yeah, I'll check that out. Yeah. Um, Anthony Mackie grew on me. <laughs> okay. Remember, I was saying like, yeah, 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 oh, yeah. I can't see him in this, but like, looking at it now, I'm like, oh, I like the social commentary. You've you've earned my respect. Right. Kind of thing. <laughs> not that you need my respect like whatever but you know like how i was like oh i can never take him seriously yeah, yeah, yeah but now it's like i like what you stand for mm-hmm. even his interviews when i'm watching i'm like i like what you stand for right yeah all right so continuing on the marvel train uh shang chi trailer came out what'd you think that one looked really good i know it was really cool i i was surprised at who the character was because remember we were like who's this guy this is so random Mm -hmm. like shang chi like why would you make this but then the way they fit him in was he's the um the mandarin son mandarin is the leader of the ten rings Mm -hmm. that's really cool because like i like if you watch the old like 90s i don't know if you've ever watched the old 90s like marvel shows where like it was so basically in the morning when I'd go to school uh, at 6 a.m. every day, they'd play, uh, uh, what was it? They'd play Fantastic Four and Iron Man. So Yeah, I don't know if I watched those. It, it was like a dual series. So some days it would be Iron Man, some days it would be Fantastic Four. It was the same show, but like they would bounce back and forth. Oh, between. Okay. It was so random. Like, But I used to watch it every morning because like to go to school. Um, and... Mandarin was the main bad guy to Iron Man. So I knew that. Mm. I knew that since the first movie, but they never brought in Mandarin. So I was like, oh, that's kind of weird. But then in Iron Man 2, I think it was, they brought in Mandarin. Yeah. But Mandarin in Iron Man 2 was about propaganda. It wasn't real. There was no real Mandarin. Mm-hmm. Right. But then you find out it was like a, it was like a double fake. Because later on you find out there is a real Mandarin. 
You're right. Which is this, now they're setting up as him being the, I guess, the new villain for the entire series. Yeah, we'll we'll see, yeah. yeah. I mean, it's it's a good story in the sense um, uh, that I guess he doesn't know that his dad is the villain. No, or maybe maybe does we don't know yet. <laughs> like, well, I mean, that's what they were saying. It's like in the comics, it was like he doesn't know that his dad is a villain. Okay, cool. And then he realizes later that it is. It's more like him turning. Good. Yeah. Oh, interesting. Oh, so he's he's. What does he think then? He's like, my dad owns everything. Yeah, he just he doesn't know that he's a villain. Like he could be he, part of a. Oh, he's like a business enterprise. Yeah, kind yeah, of yeah. Right, right, right. But all right. So, so what I really like is I saw, um this like post i think it was by like uh GameSpot or ign mm -hmm. and they were like all the times that the 10 rings has been shown in this in the movies in the marvel movies yeah. and it was since the very beginning <laughs> it was since the very first iron man right. they showed the 10 rings oh, and okay. i was like wow you guys either plan this really well or this is some crazy luck <laughs> but there's no way there's crazy luck because like they use the same logo but remember when tony stark got got abducted by terrorists yeah the flag in the back was the right rings. right oh you're right yeah yeah yeah. so from the very beginning yeah. the mandarin was in i don't think i don't I, yeah i don't think it was luck or anything I, I feel like they really planned this they wanted to add as much lore into it right true yeah and then that they will there was probably some idea of coming to this later but it was just like i don't know whoever is here writing this thing is <laughs> really genius <laughs> yeah <laughs> but i mean they they did go back to the 10 rings in the second iron man movie i think it was the second one when, whatever or maybe it was the third no no it was the third because no it wasn't the second the second was whiplash the third was Mand mandalorian right. okay. um mandarin mandarin yeah um i think maybe they planned for that to be the actual mandarin because he had the same logo i don't know if they actually plan like 20 movies in advance like mm -hmm. yeah but i guess uh i mean they also felt like they didn't people didn't like that mandarin or yeah that, but that, that's what so I was they saying. wanted so, like, to come back what he was saying is like we're gonna do right by the fans and make a mm -hmm. real mandarin right right every time i say mandarin i think of like the restaurant <laughs> yeah. you know like <laughs> trips me out but yeah so um yeah i'm, I'm excited for this one yeah that looks good the the main villain so, the villain for the Mandarin who he's afraid of is a giant dragon. Yeah. Uh, and that's that's who Tony... I remember in the TV show, like, he would... They would, like, call upon the dragon or whatever, and it would freak out the Mandarin because he had no power against the mm -hmm. dragon or something mm -hmm. like that. But so it's called the Ten Rings because the Mandarin had ten has ten rings, and mm -hmm. each ring controls, like, an element. Okay. So it's sort of like Thanos... Okay, yeah. Right. But, yeah. Like, it'll, like, shoot fire or shoot mm -hmm, water or something mm -hmm. like that. Yeah. I'm excited. Yeah, it looks, it looks cool. But in, in this one, it's, like, bangles. It's not rings. I mean, they still call it rings, like, ten rings, but it's ten bangles. You know, like, bracelets. Yeah, 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 yeah. 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 Right. Before, it was, like, ten rings right. on his fingers. Right. Yeah. I think it's yeah, it's fine. I think yeah. yeah. <laughs> I'm I'm pretty stoked that they're pushing like the whole Asian thing now. That was cool. Just the timing. Look at the timing of all. Yeah, this. totally. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> yeah, and like Crazy Rich Asians, Black Panther, um, Anthony Mackie becoming the Black Captain America. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Just the, the, the timing is working out Shang -Chi, for yeah. Disney right now. I think I saw in this. They asked him, they asked Anthony Mackie, like, does Disney, like, does he know, do, do they, like, is it an accident that it has contemporary themes? And he was saying, like, no, like, this is, they, because Marvel, he was saying that Marvel was always based in the real world, so yeah. they always went back to right. what, what was happening right. at the time. Yeah. So yeah. he's saying, like, this is just natural for Marvel to do. Right, right. Because that's what's happening right now. Yeah, because it, it's not like DC, where DC is in a different universe, mm -hmm. right? This one is like in New York. Yeah, you know, right? Yeah, it's uh, real places, real time. Like, yeah, yeah. It it always had like a contemporary social 
uh, examination. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, sick. Okay, so uh, speaking of social examination, so we got a guilty verdict from uh, George Floyd. It's killer. Not George Floyd, but <laughs> yeah. Not surprising, but... Yeah, I don't know. Yeah, it, it it came pretty like um when it come when the jury comes back very early like that that means it's already going to be guilty. Yeah, I was surprised that people thought I saw this post. The fact that we were holding our breath for a guilty verdict on this shows that there are problems in the system. Because like cuz it was so blatantly obvious, but the fact that you thought he would get off shows that there's still cracks in the system. Because, cause like, why would you be afraid that he would get acquitted? Well, because there's only two options, so you'd be afraid of what the end result will be. But if you're watching the thing, I think it makes sense. I, I suppose, but, like, remember that guy that commented on my post? Well, I mean, with the, with the internet, though, like you're going to have two sides. Two, or like, you know what I mean? Like, there's going to be Polarizing. People, yeah, yeah, yeah. People True. that think that he's not guilty, oh, he didn't do anything wrong. But it's like, there are the people, well, actually, a majority of people would, would say that he was. What he did, Guilty, yeah, yeah, and it was just the way they laid out the evidence. If you're watching the whole, the whole court stuff, you could see that. Yeah, true, true. But and I mean, like they like, even they even asked the um, the bystander jury, the yeah, but he also said he would have been guilty. Like his yeah. choice would have been guilty too. Yeah. Yeah. So good on the system. Yeah. Um. Yeah. Uh, okay, so <laughs> that, <laughs> that was, was a quick. quick one. Yeah, <laughs> that was so, quick. Yeah, just, just, just want to put a shout. Well, I wanted to see his face, but the thing is, he is wearing the mask. Like to see his, the reaction that you know, you're going to jail. <laughs> no, oh yeah. So that that was one of the crazy parts when the judge was like anything else, and then the defense. No, not defense. Prosecution. The prosecution was like, uh, we want him remove to deny bail. remove bail yeah and that's when i saw his body language like slump a yeah there's like, like oh. no like yeah and i think the sentencing is next month so you're like you have no freedom until then yeah i don't know like that's not that's the next thing that'll be the big which would be like how long like oh, right but but like is he no, gonna be in jail for no but but the reason why he slumped is like there's no uh fresh air no you can't get taken no. out there's nothing <laughs> your life is done the like you did, your life ended, and you didn't even know it ended. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's crazy. Yeah. I don't even know what that must feel like. Just like, whoa. I guess he thought he could win. True, or he thought like maybe at least I would get bail, so I can like try and run, or maybe I'd get like a last meal, maybe. No <laughs> meals, right? Like you're done. Yeah. Yeah. Mm. Anything else? No. No, yeah, I mean, I I tried to follow as much as I could. It was about a month long, right? Almost a month long. Oh, the yeah, yeah. The whole case, so. Yeah, you were watching those live uh, streams, bro. Yeah. Well, they put it out. It's kind of like, you know, it's, it reminds me of like that. Well, I didn't watch it, but it was like, I OJ? watched the. Hmm? The OJ trial? Yeah. Yeah. It's like that kind of thing. But it's the opposite. True. True, true. Yeah. Cool. Yeah, that's it. <laughs> um, so we wanted to talk about this last week, but we didn't get to it. Uh, the COVID origin, it's yeah. coming out now. What did you see on it? Like, when, or do you only hear it through me? Like, uh, what what did you see, uh, hear about the? the China well, thing? I mean, I think we knew from the beginning. It's like, oh, was there? There was a lab that's there that works on coronaviruses, right? Right. So that was like a one hint, and then the conspiracy came about about all that. And then everyone just pushed it aside because of the conspiracy theories. Well, they and... didn't. Yeah, it was like the message wasn't. We don't want to create a. A race issue here, right? And which is what Trump was doing. Like, yeah, he kept which, which kept, totally, yeah. which exactly aggravated. That's why we have the, the stop Asian hate, right? Yeah, like totally. this is all from the from that kind of stuff. And um, so the WHO went, but I guess the the message in the media was like, oh, they're doing the investigation, but um, it wasn't a real investigation, like not an actual investigation of researching it and to see where it's coming from. It was they, just more like. Yeah. To, interview people <laughs> and they also didn't get um uh visas until like six weeks much later, later. Yeah, yeah, much yeah, later. yeah 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 he was saying that the guy that i saw on joe rogan mm -hmm. i i watched his thing and when you mentioned that guy 
I don't remember his name, but I watched him on G- CNN. Jamie Metzl. Yeah, and I watched him on CNN, and at least on CNN they were like saying it, like he was explaining it, like this is not a real investigation. They'd never even WHO mm-hmm. said it was an investigation. Yeah, the totally. media made it say that it's an investigation. And he's not a conspiracy theorist. He works for WHO. Yeah, and he worked under like Obama administration, right? Yeah, totally. So okay, so his rationale, and he was saying that the reason why scientists didn't want to support it when trump was in president is because mm-hmm. he was too loud, outlandish yeah. and also um the idea of the virus mutating because of climate change was great for the climate change movement mm-hmm. so he's like that's why scientists did that in the beginning mm-hmm. but later which i find kind of weird like oh it makes sense but like it just shows you that propaganda matters you know you couldn't say it in that then messaging matters and when you say it the yeah. right time and stuff like that i think this is I just find that weird. It's yeah. like, wait, I meant that was the best move. Like, you don't want to support, you don't want, like, all the scientists come out and, like, and then there's even more Asian hate, right, you know? Right, right, yeah. But now that he's out, he's, like, a lot of scientists are now admitting that they believe this as well. Mm-hmm. So, like, so the, the, the facts that they, that make them believe it's, like, 90% a leak is, um, one, if it was a bat, no, no, okay. One, there aren't that many wet markets in Wuhan. It's not as bad as people think. He's like, it's very developed. He travels to China a lot. So okay. he's like, when they were like saying this wet market theory, he's like, what wet market? Mm-hmm. He's like, it's 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 pretty developed, like Chicago. Yeah, it's like right. their Chicago, yeah. he said. Uh, two, at the time of the the incident, it was winter, so there wouldn't be any bats. Okay, right. Three, if it was a bat, you'd have multiple um, uh, patient zeros because mm-hmm. the bat's going to go around, right, and infect multiple people, mm-hmm. right? And it would be a virus not just from one bat. It would be like multiple bats, right? So, But you only had one patient zero. So that's weird. Um, well, it wasn't that that was trying to – that would convince me in a sense. Well, okay, convince- so I'm still going okay. like um, more. Um, and then the next one is the genome – you can sequence the genome and you can trace its origin to see how it evolved mm-hmm. from that to the next thing, mm-hmm. but they can't find it. Okay. So he's like, that's weird that there's no, uh, there's no direct link. Mm-hmm. And because there's no direct link, it makes you think that it was genetically made. Mm-hmm. Um, yeah. What else? Uh, also the lab, has been cited in the past for safety violations. Right. And they also studied, um, they studied coronaviruses there. Yeah. So all these things put together, it's like, it makes sense that you were. Right. And I mean, the thing is, um, I guess what he was saying was like, there's no, like we need to do like, uh, their research or they have, um, um, find the evidence right do the actual investigation we need to actually do the investigation because it's still not it's not an investigation right right, right. that's what yeah, he's totally. saying to, yeah. like it looks like a uh, very high possibility that it would have been leaked from the lab i think they said 90 percent. Yeah. yeah yeah but again you have to still do the investigation because there was yeah, no real sure. investigation done well they were, that's what they're saying it's like and and what what are you saying too was uh what was, what was pretty interesting as well was um if you so, okay, so they didn't issue visas, so they cleaned everything up, mm-hmm. right? Um, like China supposedly cleaned everything up. Yeah. Uh, but also the scientists that work there at that lab, they can't be found. So, right, a lot of them, I remember like even people speaking out in the early times, there was a, some doctor or something like saying how really bad it is. Oh, really? And then he was gone. Oh, no way. Yeah. So, but, but what they're saying is if they could find these doctors, it might help them with a cure. Yeah. Because they, they would know if they studied it, they're right. like, okay, we, we could just do this. Right. Yeah. But I guess China didn't want. Uh, yeah. This is, I know, China's really, they always, um, I mean, they do that all the time. Like whenever some, da- some disaster happens, even there, it's like, they try to like put it under the rug here. Yeah. Right? You don't want, you don't want um, it to look bad on yeah. your country and stuff. Yeah. yeah. And to the government. Yeah, right? true. Yeah, totally. So, yeah, I don't know if they were, can ever really do an investigation. I don't think China's going to allow that to happen. Yeah. Unless there's some international appeal for it. I don't know. But you still have to, like, go in the country and, like, mm-hmm. and like 
they could also hide the evidence. I don't yeah, know. Yeah, because then they say like they didn't really even like they just interview oh, people in the lab or, or something like that. It was, they're like, no, it didn't come from the lab. So they just okay. Like, yeah, right. Yeah, totally. Like, what yeah. is that? That's not, yeah, you know, that's not an investigation. Right? Totally. So it would be pretty gnarly if you found out that this was all a lab leak. Like later on, like let's say like twenty years down the line. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Everything's back to normal, and mm-hmm. you're like, oh, this is a lab leak. Mm-hmm. Like we'd all be like, whoa that happened like we've played god to a point that we've messed ourselves up yeah so it's like what else well, this, is, this is this is the thing even in like comic books right it happens. yeah totally yeah, it's yeah, like, exactly, yeah. A lab leak oh this is what happened to spider-man so, true, <laughs> yeah, yeah, true 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 but i mean it makes you think like what other things are we doing that could mess us up in the future like ai right and yeah i mean they had contracts with american with america right in in that same lab or university or uh, the the the, With the Wuhan. oh no it was uh funded by so it was created after uh sars so when sars yeah. happened uh the world put their money together and u.s was a major funder for the lab right because they were like we need to be one step ahead mm-hmm. of nature mm-hmm. so we can see these viruses yeah. before they and come then, and then make yeah. um a thing and for then, it yeah we <laughs> and if it was a lab leak then it's like yeah, you kind of screwed yourselves over. Yeah. You know? Why this probably why it acts? That's what they're saying. Like it was confusing, like how it acts differently on different people. Some people have no true effects true at too. all. Yeah, 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 right? right. So I don't know. Like, what does that mean? Right. Oh my god! Now we're just going down the conspiracy route. Yeah, hole, exactly. Like, exactly. What if it's yeah. like meant to kill? A that's what like. Type person. Yeah, that's like, that's why it's, it was too close to the conspiracy where it could go crazy yeah, style. Yeah. But there's certain level of conspiracy is there are justifications for it yeah and and then side conspiracies of like the pandemic or like the uh the great reset mm-hmm. you know, <laughs> yeah they all yeah right, see, that's now, a, now like side then they add all these other things yeah. and 5g and yeah, all yeah. these other not like but it's like on. no no these these are just these are like not they're not related to the main thing yeah 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 crazy mm-hmm. i mean if it's what are you going to do about it now? Let's just focus on what we can focus well, on. Well, they are. I mean, I think you can have two types of of groups of people where in the sense that they're doing the vaccine stuff to try to get this back to normal. Yeah. And then there will be people investigating because they kind of have to understand how it started too. But at the rate of change, like how long before everything's back to normal? I don't even know anymore. I don't know. Uh, I don't know. I really I think it's going to take some time. Like, like my sister freaked me out with the Indian variant. Yeah, the Indian variant is like is 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 uh, they call it a double mutation because it's it's a mix of South African and the UK, yikes, m- merging, and then that's causing huge problems in India right now. Really? Yeah, like the numbers are getting now, um, yeah, dwarf 000. the numbers they had before. Yeah, yeah, dude, this is crazy. Yeah. It's 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 a huge problem. That you could just having. slaughter an entire. With. Yeah, uh, yeah. There's. Yeah, huge pop, you know, huge of the like a lot of the population is going to be hugely impacted. Yeah, and then there's the France variant. I guess it's something new, very new. I didn't hear too much about this. Okay, so, so it's um it's ravaging the Philippines right now. Like okay. they they can't even detect it. So oh. like they don't even know. I I don't know. My sister said something about like like you you can't there's yeah, something about it, you can't detect it. It's just making its way through the population now. All right. Like some know. sort of mutation. Mm-hmm. Yeah. I wish I knew more about viruses, but I don't. So <laughs> yeah. this is all just speculation. But uh, what what's funny is this dude I talked to in um, Denmark, he was, he, he was like, oh, did the world news make it to you? Because he was looking at our story, my stories on um, yeah. Instagram. And he's like, he's like, oh, I saw the thing you put about Ford, about how he like took that thing back mm-hmm. right away. He's like, did you hear about what happened in Denmark? I'm like, no. So like apparently the person in charge, like the prime minister or whatever, world leader, whatever. Yeah, whatever they have over there. Um, yeah. She said that uh, minks, we need to slaughter all of them. Yeah, they call it calling. Calling, yeah, yeah. call all of them. I love how we create these like terms that we don't have to think <laughs> about how gruesome the actual thing is. Yeah, because yeah, it just means slaughter. <laughs> yeah, so we need to slaughter all of them to make it not spread. So then, yeah, they're afraid of a mutation within the minks that could come back to us. So they slaughtered everyone. Uh, not not everyone. <laughs> they slaughtered all the minks, <laughs> and then I think I guess like a couple of days later, she took it back. 
that we everyone was pissed. There was no evidence to do that. Yeah. yeah. So she took it back, and then he said that they blamed it on somebody under her, and then okay. they just demoted that guy, like gave him mm-hmm. a new position. Right. But it's like it's funny how this world problem is showing us like world issues. You know what I mean? Yeah. Like like cracks in the system much faster than we would have seen before. Well, yeah, it's like you know in emergency situations. Like it, we it, can make, we're making mistakes here. Totally, totally. And yeah. what I'm saying is like, we think we have it all put together, but when something like this happens, you see that we really don't have anything mm-hmm. in order. We, yeah. we do to a degree, but like not as much as we like to think. Well, there's going to be mistakes. That that was the whole point of like, don't rush into things. That was the whole idea, right? Right, right. Because you tend but to now, make mistakes. Now we can't. And we're seeing that happen because that, that's true. Yeah, yeah totally. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, Measure twice, cut once, Mm -hmm. you know, kind of the old adage. But you can't measure twice in this situation. You just, you can only eyeball in this situation because it's like it's moving so fast. Yeah. It's time to invest in those masks that are, have like built in HEPA filters. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Maybe they're right. Yeah. Might be here for a while. Yeah. Do you see the, um, the new, I saw it in Grey's Anatomy because Tara was watching it. My sister brought it up. She said that the, um, the first responders now, have like a helmet mm-hmm. that connects to a oxygen tank okay. in your back and then like it's just pumping fresh oxygen into your head yeah and she's like oh us nurses need that i'm like that is crazy the future like could you <laughs> imagine we all have oxygen tank headsets now yeah yeah again i said this when i was a kid <laughs> i like dreamt about that when we were i remember i was like playing starcraft in the base i think it was uh starcraft but i was playing starcraft in the basement and I was like, what if we lived in this underground world where we couldn't go outside and we only talked to each other through computers? Right. <laughs> and we're like in that zone now. We're slowly yeah, yeah, yeah. entering in that zone. Yeah. I thought that was like some apocalyptic future. It would never come about, but it's like, mm, yeah, could be. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Freaky times. Um, okay. So let's pull it back with, actually, no, no, we'll, we'll save that one as the happiness ender. Okay. So I, so speaking of governments and cracks in the system, I read Lord of the Flies. Okay. Okay. Um, this this should be pretty quick, but I read Lord of the Flies, and you know, did you have to read that in high school, or like watch I don't the think movie? So. Okay, so Tara I don't said, remember. Okay, so Tara said she didn't either, but you guys went to the same high school, so okay. at Pope at civics class we had to watch the movie. Oh yeah. Okay. No, nothing like that. Oh, okay. So basically. But you know the premise of Lord of the Flies. No, I don't remember. Oh, okay. Okay, so a bus a bus goes off. Like they're they're like um they're school children. Okay. The the bus goes off the bridge and they all survive by making it onto this island. But they can't they can't contact civilization. So mm-hmm. basically as time goes on they regress into tribal mentality. These little kids, because, yeah. like, they have to, like, survive. They have to camps. You see, like, the way uh, things, like, if there's no law and order, right? how things would right, right. regress, yeah, yeah, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then reading it again, I'm like, oh, this is just Western propaganda. The reason why is because, like, they kept referencing, oh, I need to go back home. Oh, if we're here too long, I'm going to go crazy. Mm-hmm. And it's like, how do you know that just because we're on a desert island, we're going to regress into chaos? Right, we don't know that. We don't know that. <laughs> but they made us believe that in civics class. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's why we watched it. <laughs> I see it now. I'm like, why did we read this? In, why did we watch this in civics? Okay. Reading it, it's like, oh, it's about law and order mm-hmm. and how we need law and order in order to, like, survive. Mm-hmm. Without law and order, we just so it's basically those ap- apocalyptic movies, you know? Yeah, 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 yeah. How they're like, oh, if there's no government, what would happen? I don't. I don't think you could definitively say that we'd regress into something crazy. Like, yeah. let's say COVID destroys everything. Mm-hmm. I don't like who's to say that we're going to have like, like Mad Max kind of future. Yeah. It is just, um, an idea. It doesn't mean it's true. Yeah. But feeding that to a bunch of high school kids. It's yeah. Propaganda. You're we're programming our minds to yeah, like yeah. believe in government. Yeah. Yeah. So I'll put that out there. True. Question yeah. everything. <laughs> That's all. Okay. So I did, I think I, what you, when you were talking about, it, I think I did want to watch that movie, but I haven't watched it yet. No, I don't watch it. Well, I mean, you watch it if you want, but it's just straight like propaganda, the craziness that ensues. It's like, well, I don't when know. you know it, all going into it, it's fine. 
True, and then you'll watch it differently. You'll be like, what are you trying to sell me, bro? <laughs> yeah. Um, okay, so final thing. Apple, this week, we're going to leave you with some hope for the future. <laughs> Go ahead, Vish. Apple. Press Apple, conference. yeah, a surprise event earlier this week. Mm-hmm. Um, we got a new color for the iPhone. Oh, Pur- I didn't see that. What's purple. the color? Oh, okay, cool. Um, Sid would love it. His favorite color. <laughs> All right. Well, it's like a light purple. So I don't know. Maybe. Yeah. Right. And then new IMAX with the new M1 chip. And then... So, so what's what's the going to the M1 chip and why is it so important? So they announced the M1 chip last year. So it was it's already in um, a Mac... and What do you call that? A Mac Mini. They already have a Mac Mini with an M1 chip. They have a MacBook Air with an M1 chip, and they have a MacBook Pro with an M1 chip already. Okay. That's already out. So this is the first ones for the iMac, the next stage, right? So the iMacs are now with the M1 chip. iMac is the desktop one. The desktop one. Mm. And they showed, like, how the old Mac, iMac, sorry, how thicker it was because it had to have a bigger logic board with the Intel chip to keep everything cooler. Totally, yeah. They had to have a bigger fan in there. Yeah. But with this all implemented in this M1 chip, it's like the logic board is, is super small. That's why the side of the MacBook is super thin. So so basically, in upgrading this new chip, you'll have much thinner, faster Macs. Yeah. It'll take up less room. Yeah. So um, it's becoming now like fully... Like everything is made by apple now right like it's all put together by apple because initially they're using intel chips yeah intel yeah Yeah. i mean it was a huge shift um when they had power pcs that was their power pcs yeah this Mm -hmm. is like way back okay they went from power pcs to adding intel so that helped them get bigger because intel was also allowed them to install windows remember they were able to do running both yeah Yeah. dual um yeah desktops so now they're doing their own chips because they've learned from the iPhones and the iPads. Right. And that they can make their own and make it way better than Intel. Right. And now we're getting those in a lot of their products. Mm-hmm. And the one surprise thing was, like, like I'm not going to get an iMac. It's not something I need. But uh, it's super cool to see where, where it's going. But the surprising thing to also see the M1 chip is in the iPad Pro. Oh, and does cool. that mean that the i like, does, I don't know what, like a June event is when they do the new software stuff. And does that mean that the iPad is like ready for can running replace the laptop? Yeah. Can it run Mac OS? Is this what's going on here? That's cool. Right. And then like having all the chips the same, it's really like the, when whatever software they're creating can run on anything. Actually, that would be kind of cool. Now that I think of it, cause like if you can run it like that, so basically what this is going towards is like um not not like um like carrying ability mm-hmm. like why do i need a giant laptop so be, all right if if you look at my laptop right now the top half is a screen the bottom half as with everyone's is a keyboard yeah right but i'm using a wireless keyboard in addition to my keyboard mm-hmm. and i also have a wireless mouse right so basically, what they're trying to do is remove the keyboard entirely, and all we're having is screens. Yeah. Maybe like keyboards and mice would just be additional attachments if you want later on. Yeah. 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 I could see that. And I, I think to see that in, I was uh, like, nobody was expecting, I guess, the M1 inside of an iPad Pro. Yeah. Which we, was a shock to me because that, that, uh, that power that it has is huge difference. Which would also be good for like cross functionality. So like if I'm editing something on my laptop or uh, my mm-hmm. iMac, mm-hmm. I can just grab my iPad if I'm going like out for the day. Yeah. I can edit it still on my iPad and then pick it up later. Yeah. When, because like that is like if you use notes, uh, notes integrates from laptop to phone to mm-hmm. iPad. Mm-hmm. So what if you did something like that? You know? Yeah. So you just edit it wherever you're going. Yeah, and I think by having it all like the same chip, it's like it's running. They don't have to create two different like softwares, right? Like, Mm, true. It's all one, uh, but it'll be implemented to like it knows it's an iPad, so it'll have somewhat lesser functionality, but like a lot of stuff is there. Right. But when you run it on the on the on a on a laptop or something, and it's like it 
adds more functionality because it's got more power of other things in it. So it's like, yeah, totally. It's it's much more easy to build software when it's all the same. It's gonna have um, more a more robust ecosystem mm -hmm. because now you don't have like you don't have um, you don't have like hindrances when you're jumping from one product to the other. The the software can be universal. Yeah, it's coming back again to always it's Apple's ecosystem. Yeah, exactly. It's yeah. building that even stronger. So like when they have like let's say TVs. Like you can, you can theoretically, you could, um, so, so like, do you, do you remember like, uh, what's it called? Um, oh, what's that movie with Tom Cruise? Minority Report? Yeah. So Minority Report, imagine if you, you remember when he was using the screen and his hands were like the controller? Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. What if you can grab whatever it is you're, you're working on, yeah, right. and throw it onto your iPad go like take transit <laughs> take what's on your ipad throw it onto your work yeah, computer right you know what i'm saying like yeah you're well just it's almost it. like kind of already there like if you if you notice like when you work on your iphone and then, then that pops up on the dock yeah, yeah, yeah. so it's kind of like the same thing or you can continue it yeah exactly right exactly it. yeah it's it's, like, it's, it's getting like it's, yeah 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 this is the start of it you know what i mean yeah ubiquity of the <laughs> uh apple ecosystem that's, that's cool. Yeah. They're going to so, dominate the market. If they can create this, dominate the market. Right, yeah. I like. It was like, ooh, I want this iPad Pro, but I'll wait for the M2. Yeah, totally. Or, <laughs> or like the M6, you know? Like, we need this to be working, you know? Yeah, You yeah, don't want yeah. the early functionality. You're like, uh. And then the next year you come out, like, now we can, you could work. I could see that happening at yeah. the launch. Like, you can work your program off any device. But they have, yeah, it's they, they, they plan it for about a two-year transition because not all of their stuff is yet ready for the their M1 chip. There's, like, but, some things have to run. M6. I'm waiting for it right. to be, like, fully integrated, then yeah, I'll jump in. Yeah. So, it's to, if you're there saying two-year to be fully integrated, then uh, to have, like, I guess the better everything would be, like, waiting, like, four years or something. Like, yeah, yeah. To have it all running good do you, do you remember the um the technology funnel talked about that uh like the the parabola so like there's early adopters yeah uh like or innovators early adopters late adopters laggards mm -hmm. uh, i'd say i'm like a late adopter to laggard like it has to be working so well because <laughs> like i don't know it's, it just seems like annoying to get something and then change it every year you know yeah, 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 but I, I can see where the future is going. That's mm -hmm. pretty cool. Yeah, now there's like actual like some sort of beef between Intel and Apple, right? Intel's gone. Like what? what like this else? affects Windows, Intel. Windows will probably still use. Well, no, no, no. They do. Yeah, they will use. But it's just there's a huge market in Apple that they have. Do I, uh, it's so gone, I mean, right? And then like they were trying to make fun of that in an Intel ad recently. Oh really? Yeah, like, same and, one. Uh, I don't remember that. I'll I'll pull it up to you. But it's just like they used, um, you know, the Mac versus PC guy. Yeah. yeah. So they used the Mac guy in their ad, and they Intel? were making yeah. Oh, yeah. Justin Long. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh no way. Yeah. Cool. But the way that like uh, it was a it was an ad like it was tr like a making fun of yeah they were making fun of the Apple thing but it was like. It wasn't even the real Mac. Like the, uh, like someone broke it down. It's like it was like the image that was on the laptop screen was just a, like a Photoshop image, or like they put it on, okay, a, like a CG image. It's not like even on or something like that. I don't remember. Like I'll, I'll have to see. Yeah, it. I'll have to. I'll have to show it to you yeah. to to to. But anyway, they did. That's there's something going on between the two. Of course there would be because it affects Intel's business. Yeah, totally. So I feel like Apple's gonna break away to a point where they're just gonna dominate the entire market and any other device that's not an apple is laughable sort of like a tesla like when you, joe rogan said it too actually because joe <laughs> rogan's a huge car guy and he said like if he could choose one car to drive for the rest of his life it would be a tesla the reason being is when you're in a tesla every other car just seems silly and i was like i agree when, when i was in your car i was like dude this is so ridiculously in the future like why why like you see like these crazy porsches that are like worth like hundred thousand mm -hmm. dollars whatever but you're like it's so archaic you don't have a screen 
you're still using gas. It makes no right, sense. Right, right, you know? right. They're not designing around a future driverless time. Like this is the design that Apple or yeah. Tesla is doing. Yeah. yeah. Um, the other thing that they brought up was um, air tags. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Okay. Yeah. Uh, right, and, and that, that's something that people were, I guess, if you're following the rumors and things like this has been talked about since last year. Uh, so it's officially released. Basically, it's a tracking, uh, like a tracking sticker, something like. But a, it's not a sticker, but yeah, yeah, yeah a tracking yeah, like, uh, device. But, but like, what's a device? So it's like I'm just saying sticker, like you stick it on, right? Like a pin side, like what, yeah. what do you call that? Like a button pin or a tag? Yeah. Yeah, one of those. Anyway, so it's like um, it's not a new thing. Yeah, Kyle no, has no, already no. done this. Yeah, right? yeah. but I've seen the it way this thing works is way better than Tile. You can actually buy those on Amazon, actually. I saw them recently. No, no, no yeah. Not you, the Apple thing. I'm... No, no, the Tiles. They're called Tiles. Oh, okay, okay, cool, yeah, cool, Tile cool. is the other company that does that. Other okay, thing. Yeah, yeah, So this is really in direct competition with Tile, and I think Tile is done, because the, what the Apple one can do is nothing near. Okay, why? 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 It, um, well, with anyone with the new iPhones, like the iPhone 11 and up, you mm. have a new one chip. So it that has like... Um, oh, I have an 11 Pro. Yeah. So that has like, if it's something inside the house, you can have a direct, I forgot what they called it, but it was like a direct, uh, uh, it'll tell you exactly how many meters away it is from your phone. Oh, that's cool. Yeah. And it'll like arrow will be on the marking, like a compass and it'll point oh. you towards it and walk you towards it. Wait, they do that already for airdrop. I don't know if you, I don't know if it's on your phone, but right. I use airdrop all the time. Yeah. So when you're airdropping now, you have to point it at the thing. It oh, has yeah. like a thing. It has like an arrow. Okay. That's like showing you where the thing is. Mm -hmm. So sometimes like if I'm kind of far away from mm -hmm. my, um, from my laptop, like if I'm on the couch and then I'm going to airdrop something to my, uh, uh, laptop, it, it's like a little arrow marker, and then I have to like lift up oh, really? the thing and aim it at it. Okay, it's so odd. I was like, oh, this is a weird new device. I think they're trying to. It's like muscle learning because you're going to be doing this if you have air tags. Yeah. Or, or, so you pulled up a picture. It doesn't look like that, but okay. But yeah. this is what it's going to be like. It's like a compass and pointing you towards, like it's six meters away, and you get closer and closer. Um, it'll you know shorten the distance or whatever the number. It's like Marco Polo. Mm -hmm. Like but so that is like if it's home. like within the same household, right? So this is how it's going to work out like that. But That's cool. um, so I guess people will do it to keys and things like that and whatnot. Yeah. yeah. But also if you left something on the beach, for instance, or like like somewhere far away, uh -huh. it uses people's iPhone. Other people's iPhones? Yeah. Wow. So it works uh, as a net. As a net thing. And it will tell you exactly where it is based on other like pings Tri off of other phones triangulation that's yeah. freaky yeah so it's i mean you have to have bluetooth i think this is most yeah. people have it on so it's, it's really using wow like uh short waves or whatever yeah. it's called but it's really it'll tell you exactly where it is based on other pings from other iphones you should um embed that in athena's uh body so that if she runs away well you put that her. as a collar uh, no but we don't have a collar on her i know i know so, i'm uh, saying like if you ever do that <laughs> it's like they, I think people will use it on a dog. Dude, that's crazy. Yeah, it's kind of freaky. Yeah, so it also has like a like a sound. I guess it'll ping off a sound. So there's how some, much do they cost? Uh, one is forty bucks. Forty bucks, not bad. Yeah, forty bucks ain't bad. But what's the charge life? Do you uh, have to charge them? No. So wow. they have like you can change out the battery. Oh, but oh. it's like one of those. Um, watch battery things i'll wait for iteration number 20 where it's no battery uh well i don't think it'll work like that <laughs> it, you might you might have one where you don't need a battery right i just think that they In don't the use they won't use as much energy so that they're using the watch battery it's like it's i think it's better because people then can just change out those batteries versus like you have to keep charging it, it wouldn't well, make sense how big is this thing then because a watch battery is pretty big no they're pretty small no, but like you said, like head of a pin. No, 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 no. Like this kind of size. I oh, think it's this kind of size. Okay, so like a, a dollar. A yeah, 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 yeah. Oh, okay, okay, okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, I, I think like, so. I meant like one of those 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 pin yeah. thingies. I, I don't know how to explain that. Like, yeah, like a, like a pin, like a regular pin that you, like, um, 
like bands have them. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, I thought you meant like a pin, like a head of a pin. No, no, no. So no, I was no, like, oh, no. that's tiny, bro. No, okay, no, cool. no, that'll be, that'll be too. That's not there yet. That's probably the future. That's why I'm waiting for iteration twenty, <laughs> where it's like the head of a pin. But uh, it seems like it's being sold out already. So that's cool. Yeah. How would you put that on your keys? That's big. Uh no, it's like you you have a stick it on your keys. A tag. Oh. I'm gonna buy that. I'll, I'll probably actually just buy that right now. But I think you had to buy the tag separately. That's really cool. So if you um if you you don't you can't um you can't see this. <laughs> yeah. But basically what it is it's a key ring with it's it's like those tags like um uh Roots has them. Yeah. YSL has them. Mm -hmm. They they have them all. It's basically like a little tag, a branded tag. That's what it what it looks yeah, like. Yeah, you can brand it with whichever one you want, an emoji or whatnot. No, I mean it's on like the a key device chain, itself, like a key and chain. the keychain is the. No, no, I mean like it. It looks like a keychain. Well, yeah, this one, yeah. Yes, I would totally buy that. Yeah, that's great. Huh. Yeah. Forty bucks. Forty bucks for the tag. I don't know how much the keychain is. Uh, uh, yeah, air tag is forty bucks. I don't know what the keychain thing is. I guess you can buy different things. You can probably there's probably gonna be a ton of third party markets for that. It's pretty cool though. It's pretty cool. All right, awesome. I know what I'm buying next. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I don't need iteration twenty because that looks cool in its own. You should Google it if you're listening to this. Mm hmm. Yeah. I I like the idea, but I don't have an U1. I I can still use it, but it's much more precise with the U1. Yeah. You oh. said eleven and up, right? I got eleven pros. So. Yeah. All right. Yeah, I'm waiting for my thirteen. Thirteen. <laughs> Or, or iteration forty-five. Sure. No, because you like you know. You like to wait. What do you What do you want? iPhone seven. Yeah. I'm still in the old school. Yeah. With the button on the bottom. Yeah. <laughs> no face ID yet. Or, or wait, you're waiting for the one where you can implant it into your arm. <laughs> I'd get that one. Yeah. No, I wouldn't get that one because it would hurt. Yeah, all right. Yeah. Uh, that's enough. <laughs> okay. How long is the episode so far? Oh, wow. That's long. Hour 22. Hour 22. Enjoy this one. <laughs> yeah. All right. Until next time, Vish. Cool. Peace. Pick up, uh, pick up your air tags. Yeah. Bye. Bye. All right. Hope you enjoyed that episode. Uh, be sure to like, share, subscribe, all those fun things. And check out our sponsors, Zenro Clothing Co., Portion Bakery, and Podbean. Take it easy, Vish. Peace.